Assalamu alaikum. Guys, how are you? Hope all of you will be doing well. Okay. In today's discussion, we have a discussion that is very important discussion. These few minutes can save much score of you people. In IELTS speaking section, the discussion is based, based on IELTS speaking. Like some students face difficulty in understanding their level. Like where we are lacking the score. Why the examiner is just eliminating or cut the score from us? Why this examiner has given us 6 band or 6.5 hardly? Why we didn't get or couldn't get 7.5 or 8 bands or 8.5, right? The thing get here, you have to notice if your grammatical structure is correct. The, in the grammar portion for IELTS speaking, these four topics should be 100% clear to you people. The first one is tense. The second is conditional. The third is subject verb agreement. The fourth is noun antecedent agreement. You should have 100% command on these few topics. Tense is 100% important. The whatever the tense is used by IELTS examiner, whatever the conditional structure style that's uh, that part, the kind is used by an examiner, you should answer in the same tense. You should answer in the same question. You should uh, like the question, whatever the question. In part two, 85, 90% examiner is going to use in cue card past tense you should answer also in the past tense right the first part the first uh, section or the first step for i speaking interview your tense grammatical structure should be correct the tense should be used correctly the conditional should be used correctly the subject verb agreement should be used correctly the noun antecedent agreement should be used correctly all these grammatical topics should be 100 percent clear to you furthermore now as far all the sections are concerned like for section one there would be most probably 9, 10 or 11 questions maximum. 8 questions average. 8 questions average. Like we ask our students, how many questions you were asked in IELTS real exam? The answer, sir, 21. Maximum 21. Your mental appearance, mental level should be ready for 21 maximum questions. You can face 21 questions from examiner's side. Your psyche, your mental approach should be ready for that situation. Otherwise, if you think like I'm going to just uh, finish or that my interview is going to complete after 16 or 14 questions, then you're not able to perform well in uh, furthermore questions, right? Your mental approach should be ready for more than 20, 20, 18 questions, 21 maximum, 18, 17, 16. These are like the average ratio and 14, 12, 13 minimum. Okay. Now, eight questions are concerned from section one. Now, some more important points I'm going to share regarding how to answer for all the questions, right? Like as far as first part is concerned, section first. If the first portion, the first step, the first skill, the first approach for I speaking, that is grammar structure if your grammar structure is 100 percent perfect now your next target is how to beautify your communication because it here your communication style your output your conveying idea style and structure is going to be observed how you start answer how you close answer how you connect the next sentence with the previous one the third with second then fourth with third then fifth with uh, fourth then sixth with fifth right how you connect the next sentence with the previous one is going to be observed by IELTS examiner right now now as far as first questions are concerned first section question are concerned for first four question the introduction question full name what's your full name may I see your id card uh, where do you live do you work or study for these four questions do not say like well do not say like well like if i ask anyone what's your full name and he or she is going to say me thank you for asking this when uh, this question are giving me an immense opportunity or well my name is right no 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 need of well no need of using thank you kind of phrases right it here you guys are supposed to only welcome with your physical gestures facial, facial expression the facial expression should be it should show a kind of friendly nature for an examiner if you want the best if you want the highest score the greatest score in the IELTS speaking section all the section the first expression should be from your facial expression facial impression it should be friendly for an examiner that sir you are known to me like it should the, the way you talk with your examiner it should show a kind of friendly nature not a serious one a boring like what is your full name my name is like if you would answer in this way my name is Fatma Kushali serious no 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 seriousness should be there if examiner is serious that is their choice that is his choice his cho her choice doesn't matter your style of conveying answer in the first section should be more friendly and in the whole other section you should welcome each question 
guys remember whenever you rem- whenever you welcome the question of the next participant the next person not the next one to you that person would take automatically and naturally an interest in your answer all the answer which you do so far right now the first target the grammar portion the second target how to convey idea in friendly and more attractive and impressive way right okay now you guys could show impression the physical expression the friendly nature expression impression through your phys- through your through your facial expression the facial gesture should be friendly little bit smile should be there on your face to show that sir i am welcoming the question in this way like if someone would answer my 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 name is fatma bushaliya you can fatma now this is serious not interesting one but if you would answer in this way my name is fatma bushaliya sir you can call me fatma now interesting one like sh- also aid intonation to your answer intonation is actually the style of native speakers the english speakers the natural speakers right intonation means to raise your voice to lower down this is like the style the structure this that is going to be followed by native speakers you should go also for the same structure to be used right intonations my full name is now my full name is fatma kushalia you can call me fatma my full name is adnan mifuz you can call me adnan my full name is asma khan you can call me asma my full name is uh javeria gul you can call me javeria my full name is rashid khan you can call me rashid right this you can call me rashid for the convenience of examiner you should add it to your first answer first question this is fine may i see your id card yes please here it is right this is enough yes sure why not here it is yes sure why not here it is yes sure why not here it is do not say like this yes here no are you getting are, are you running from the examiner why 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 is he your enemy she or she is going to say you something the examiner show your friendly nature friendly way as far as you can just do it like in the sense like do it or die do or die do or die that like the expression the way you answer it should be emotional it should be friendly in front of the examiner to impress him to inter- to take and like this person should take an interest this person should be, like he should seem like he is a boring person and you have to create his interest in your answer right now next first four question should be welcome like all the question should be welcome up uh, from examiner side but as far as first four questions are concerned should be welcome to your physical gesture facial expression that that should be uh, having a kind of light smile and your face light smile uh, and beside light small uh, smile is uh, sorry light smile there should be like um, the expression style the speaking style the utterance should be also friendly for examiner right as far as remaining four five six seven questions are concerned from part first right now we are talking only about part first the remaining 4 5 6 7 questions should be also answered in a friendly way but somewhere you should also add the starting phrase of a welcome right now 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 why we say greetings why we greet someone like good morning like if we have feelings in our hearts for someone then why we use greetings why we say good morning hello how are you right because we are showing feelings to verbal expression same goes for all the answers of i speaking module there you should also add somewhere the welcoming phrase that sir i am appreciate here appreciating your question i i am welcoming it i want it to give an answer for it right thank you for asking such a kind question thank you for giving me this immense opportunity i was expecting this question right well right these are some welcoming phrases you should remember 4 5 6 7 f- welcoming phrases and use it in all speaking interview all the not all and all answer in the first four questions as first four questions are concerned from part for speaking module do not just aid it but for the remaining part uh, part first question use for two three questions where you think like i can explain this question very well right and part two question is concerned cue card question where you prepare it for a minute and then you talk you're supposed to talk on it for two minutes you are requested and supposed to use 100 percent confirm this welcoming phrase because there you are supposed to explain it for two minutes right or more than two two minutes and ten seconds round about that like that go for thank you for giving me an immense opportunity to express my feelings and then start as far as my opinion is concerned 
answer for part two right how to prolong different criteria keeping wh questions and connectors that is like some extra discussion part three is concerned also answer in the same way show your physical expression facial gestures little bit smile on your face in whole interview if the person is boring or the serious one the examiner you should make him the interesting one you should make him the more uh, attractive one through your answers right towards your answer he should take an interest and you should seem like a professional and natural and native speaker right the way you the style you use so far okay in part three used to twice or twice the welcoming phrase as far as part three questions are concerned most students make this mistake they use they the, like the all the questions are going to be based on agreement disagreement and opinion in part three agreement disagreement and opinion do you do like this and do you do like this right such kind of questions are going to be asked from you let me ask from real interview some question right well, um, what do children learn from their parents now the, this is like a kind of informative question but some questions most probably are going to be yeah mm, yes do you think history is important do you like to learn about history and your opinion how can people study history like many questions are based on your opinion what do you think so far what is your opinion where your perception is lying right now for all such opinion questions do not start many students make this mistake they start it from yes 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 no 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 are well well what no no do not go for similar style the starting it should be different for all the question it should be unique for all the question it shouldn't be same from part first till the last question right go for some more other style as for sir as far as my opinion is concerned i'm of the perception i'm of the opinion thank you for asking this question i was expecting this now these are different styles to be followed for opinion question to impress examiner to make your conveying style more beautiful in speaking the way you communicate the way you convey this is also going to be observed and this thing is going to impress examiner and he or she is going to give you the highest score if your grammatical structure is correct the intonation is there rising and lowering down is there connectors should be there like some students make this mistake the very blender they use seven times six times and 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 further and 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 uh, and then and for another sentence and, uh, and and some students go for only so and then i say make like thank to god that still like that so and then exist right some students only go for so 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 and then 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 right and then it it would uh, then it was happened then it happened and further so so that's why now so 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 then 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 just avoid 100 percent these three and so then this is like showing you are lacking a fluency go for some connectors furthermore in addition additionally in other words i would like to also mention you know physical uh, philosophically logically religiously medically scientifically right um, on the dorsal side on the brighter side on the darker side on the contrary side many connectors exist connectors to connect your next idea with the previous one just must go for using these connectors to show the frequency to show the command and to show the confident level and to show the best style of conveying your ideas when you use connectors believe me you would be you would seem like a natural speaker you would seem like a professional speaker otherwise if you would go for only and and so and and so and this thing is going to show the examiner this person is lacking the frequency this person is not having much command on english language this person is lacking the ability in speaking uh, like, like, like like to speak in a fluency right to speak in a, a continuous speed right okay so this thing you should work on such criteria and such thing if you have any question you can just uh, share your question in the comment box below thank you for watching it and for many more videos just subscribe and like this channel share it with your friends thank you so much it was having a nice time